Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen, to Blue's kitchen. Um, I'm Blue, <laughs> and today we're going to be making marzipan. Okay, uh, it's going to be a vegan version of marzipan. There's not going to be egg included. We're trying to keep our um, eggs for the things that we really, really need them for. So, because there's a way of doing this that you don't need the eggs, therefore I'm going to do it that way. The only thing you need to know is that it won't keep for as long as traditional marzipan with the eggs and the cooking process and stuff like that but it will keep for as long as whatever you use it in or for it takes to get get it demolished so you know it's gonna last about 10 days in the fridge which is perfect for right now now I buy my almonds raw like this with the skins on. Um, I don't mind the skins on, I certainly don't mind them in marzipan, but it does mean, and I get, it It does save us probably about six quid a kilo. Yeah, it, it does make a huge difference. Now, if you wanted to not have the skins on, all you have to do is put them in a bowl with some boiling water, let them sit for about an hour, and then just sit there and the skins pop off. They just pop off, it's, it's, it's simple enough. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to pulverize my almonds in the food processor and hope the bowl doesn't break <laughs> because it's on its way out and I can't replace it. So I'm, yeah, we're going to do some almonds <laughs> in the food processor. And once I've done that, I will come back to you and show you what to do from then on in because, yeah, I don't need to put you through that noise. <laughs> Here we are down at the food processor. Now we've got it to a fine powder, but we want it a little bit finer than that. So that's gonna go through for a little bit longer. So here we go. Well. I'm probably gonna leave it in there for another five minutes. And we're done. Aren't you glad I saved your ears? Now, okay, I did that for another couple of minutes and that's plenty, plenty, to be honest. It's beautiful. You don't want it so that the oils are starting to leach out because then you'll end up with almond butter and you don't want almond butter, you want almond meal. Okay, so we're going to bring this over here and I'm going to show you how to add the other ingredients. Okay, I know you're a bit high up there, but at least you've got the really good seeds, right? So we've probably got a good couple of cups maybe three cups of almond meal in there. Yeah. Just get out every little bit that you can because, you know, why are we wasting it? We don't want to waste it. We want it all. Right. And you're going to put the e an equal amount of icing sugar. Not icing mixture, but icing sugar. Okay, just pure icing sugar, powdered sugar, whatever you want to call it. It's that stuff, but it's the pure stuff, not the mixed stuff. All right. Now, for some reason, the sugar guys have decided to put this back in plastic bags and not in boxes. Which is a bit of a pain in the bum, actually. Okay, so we're going to put an equal amount in there. There we go. About half the bag. So it's probably about 500 grams, I would imagine, of each. Now, here's where it gets tricky and you have to pay attention. So pay attention. Little bit of water, not a lot. Just use a little bit at a time to get this done. If you put too much in, you're going to end up with icing and what you want is a paste. So when you're pretty sure that that's not going to take any more water. See, that's still taking the water up and we're getting quite a really good thick paste there. And we probably put maybe two tablespoons of water in at this stage. So you could probably do another tablespoon maybe or two, two more tablespoons of water. Now I'm going to leave it to you, I will put the basic recipe down there, 
but it will very much depend on the humidity of your kitchen and home and the ambient temperature how much water your marzipan is going to take up all right okay it's already quite i might have put too much water in now <laughs> no you want it to be quite a thick quite thick that's not thick enough you want it like a dough okay so we're going to put some more icing sugar in. But you want a really, I'm going to use my hands from here on in, I think. Right. You just want to knead all that in, knead it together. just to knead it through just to make sure okay all right it's looking pretty good actually can't say I'm not impressed with that now like I said you can peel your almonds you can use ground almonds if you prefer I prefer just to have them whole with the skins on because it gives it a bit more of a nutty flavour and I find that if I use blanched almonds or whatever that's when you end up having to add almond extract and stuff like that because you want to add to the flavour whereas honestly This is fine as it is and it's got a beautiful nutty flavour to it because you've got the whole nut not just see now that's exactly what we want is a really nice paste that we can mold so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put that in a container I'm just going to either go in a container or maybe just some cling or grease proof paper in the fridge until you need it there we go Aye. and you just use it like you would normal marzipan you can use it to cover your cakes you can use it to do all sorts of things so just use it as however you would want to use it I'm going to be using it to make our stolen and probably other things because <laughs> there is quite a lot there <laughs> okay well I hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you enjoy um, very quick simple budget recipes like that please do hit the subscribe button because we do do a lot of that around here um, yeah so hit the subscribe choose the little bell icon um, and choose the all option you'll be told when my videos are coming up uh, and please do hit that thumbs up because it really really is helpful to us okay i will see you guys later on um yeah if you can't be good be good at it mm -hmm. okay i'll see you guys later <laughs>